Hey guys, this episode we're gonna be creating dynamic roles in our Rails application. We're gonna enforce those rail roles with Pundit, which you can watch in a previous episode, but we're gonna be building a role model so we can assign a user a role, and then the users of our application can actually define the roles and modify those permissions. So it's gonna be pretty cool. So all of this is gonna be dynamic, which means that we're gonna to need to generate a role model in our terminal. And we're gonna generate that as a scaffold so users can actually go in the UI and create new types of roles. We'll have some default ones that you can use, but you'll be able to define your own and customize this as you add more features and other things to your app. So we can say Rails generate scaffold role, we'll give roles a name, and we're gonna have a permissions JSON or JSONB if you're using Postgres, column and this is where we're going to store all of the permissions and where we can add and remove them very very easily without having to create new migrations to adjust the permissions so then the other thing we need to do is make sure that our users are attached to a role so we're going to say rails generate migration add role to users role belongs to and that's going to create that association for us and we'll run rails db migrate now that our model has been created, we can go into DB Seeds and we can create some roles that are our defaults. So let's say role find or create by name is reviewer. And we'll have one for maybe a writer and an editor. And so we'll kind of just imagine some roles that we would have um, for like a blogging application. Now our role model here is going to need those permissions on it. And normally we would use store accessor 